Hey, Marha is here. First we will draw the basic shape of the body and it will be very simple like always. It will be just a circle. So select the circle tool, pick up the skin color and draw that circle. Basically that's it. Now we have the basic shape of the body. Now we will draw the legs and it will be simple as well. For that we will use the rectangle tool. Just draw the rectangle and select the upper point here and move it down. Okay, just one point, just the upper point. Come on. Now it's better. Move it down. Whoop. I think that it's too fat, so squeeze it a bit. Move it here. And now for the second leg, we will just copy this shape. So duplicate it and move it here. And it will be much nicer if we make a slightly pose of the character. So everything what you need to do is to select the lower point here and move it like this. It's much better now. Okay, that's it. Just to fit the right positions. Beautiful. Now I will select the lower points and make these corners rounded, something like this. And for the foot, I will use the rectangle as well. It will be very simple, very quick. Just draw the rectangle, move this point here and make this corner rounded, this one as well, okay? and move it here let me check okay beautiful now we will add a few tiny details just two shapes and everything will get a much nicer look so this will be the first shape and it will be rounded and now i will draw one more rectangle here just move it here move it here basically that's it let me check now amazing and for the second leg, just group these shapes, duplicate it like this, move it here, flip the shapes. Basically that's it. Now I will draw the swimming underwear and it will be very simple, just follow me. First I will select the main part of the legs together with the body. Then I will duplicate it. Then I will make one shape from these shapes, okay? So combine all and convert to path. Okay, now we have our duplicated shape. I will change the color just to recognize that this is the duplicated shape, not the main. And then I will use, for example, yellow color and draw one rectangle here. Maybe change this angle here, something like this. Okay, then I will select the, this yellow shape together with the duplicated shape. Go here and use intersect tool, boom done okay beautiful that's it the most beautiful part of the characters and that's it the head for that i will use the circle just draw the circle i will use the skin color and i love characters with the beard probably because i have the beard so let's draw it it can be black later you can change the color of course and make it by your taste and here i will draw one more rectangle Select these corners together with this one and zoom. Okay, I will change this point here. So we now we have a beard, now the ear and for that of course we will use circle. Let's draw the circle, move it here, duplicate it, change the size for the new circle and it will be darker a bit. So now our ear have the deep I can duplicate it, move it here and create the second ear. You don't need to do that, but you know what? Let's make it. Okay, now I need a circle for the mouth. I need a semicircle, but we will create it from the circle. So as you can see now we have a circle and on the over it we will draw the rectangle. And everything what you need to do is to select these shapes and use minus front tool. So this is the iPad version of the Illustrator and you can use that in your PC version as well. Color it, it will be white. So now we got a big shiny smile. Ooh. This needed to be rounded. I'm not sure what's going on, but okay, everything is okay. Now we need a beautiful black eyes and we will do that with the black circles. First one, the second one, and I will duplicate one here for the hairstyle. So move it here and here will be one rectangle. Okay, as you can see, it's very simple. I'm not sure about that mouth, but hey, you can change it and do whatever you want. 
and maybe we can duplicate the ear for the nose just one circle here okay rub the shapes rotate it a bit something like this and move it here let me check cool so as you can see our character is ready for the selfie so let's make it happen i will draw one rectangle for the arm and i need the phone here it will be very easy so first i will draw one more rectangle for the thumb and one more rectangle for the phone just straight black line and okay and maybe for the other fingers we can add one more rectangle here it will be brighter a bit one around the corner and i think that it's pretty enough let me check <laughs> i don't know not bad but i think that it can be better if we add one more part for the thumb and it will be a circle it will be more realistic and maybe the finger can be bigger a bit okay not bad group the shapes change the angle move it here send to back and boom okay cool and for the second r i will use this shape so i will copy move it here ungroup it delete everything except the main part of the arm it's pretty enough change the size duplicate it here i will make these corners rounded change the angle okay this part can be lighter a bit but i will try like this for now and make these corners rounded so i made these corners rounded because now it's very easy to fit these two shapes bring to front uh, and make this brighter this part of the arm will be darker a bit and i will send it to back okay so this is uh, much better so here on this arm i will add a few details it's summer so we need to fit everything to that mood I'll copy this part move it here and make it darker a bit with these shapes and try to fit these shapes okay i like it and here ungroup and add a hand so just select these two points make these corners rounded draw one rectangle and make it round it it will be one finger and here i will draw the circle for the thumb okay basically that's it and i need to draw the most important details here look at this just a small tiny circle bloop and one more here bloop and basically that's it so as you can see we draw the character and we created the basic shapes of the character now i will skip a few minutes add a lot of details shadows and things like that and show you the final result so are you ready Boom. that's it guys i hope that you like it and as i said before if you don't want to draw it just use it for whatever you want for free just go on the gigantic dot store and remember stay tuned because the best is yet to come peace